people think like space is, you know, they're these billionaires and their toys, but it's like you interact with space every day, whether you're using Google Maps, GPS, or, you know, MRIs. Our whole world really relies on all of this, this data coming from the space industry. OrbitFab, we're building gas stations in space. So we put up propellant depots into various orbits and we go to our customers and refuel them so they can do more in space. I actually wrote a cold email to a startup when I was in the university and I got accepted to be an internship for them and ended up, my co-founder was the former CEO of that company and ended up meeting him, reconnecting with him at a conference because he left the day before I started. And so we had a bunch of different ideas together and he invited me out to California. And so that night I booked a one-way flight, came home and told my parents I was moving out in two weeks. And we worked on several different business ideas and OrbitFab was really the one that stuck. Both of us, we really want to create permanent jobs in space or, or you know, expand humanity off this rock. And the, on, the only way you can really grow any economy is by having cheap, a cheap energy source. So on Earth, it's oil and gas. Before that, we had coal and steam engines. And you could see that the amount of goods and services that moved around was very small. And then we had oil and gas, a very cheap, renewable source that we could use. And then our economy exploded in the course of 100 years. And so the thing that the space industry lacks is this cheap energy source that allows people and companies to move goods and services. And so that's what we're providing. We launched the world's first fuel depot last summer, and that's currently in Leo. Everything you know, under between like 165 kilometers and then um, 2,000 kilometers. Our goal is to really put out a bunch of depots in various orbits in LEO and GEO. And so GEO would be like where your DISH TV, your Sirius XM satellites are at, is this ring that's perfectly stable with the rotation of the Earth, and that's 36,000 kilometers. We have fuel depots, which are big, simple tanks of fuel, and then we have our fuel shuttles, which go from the, the depots to our customers. And long term, you know, just like we have highways on Earth, as we expand from to the moon and to Mars and eventually asteroid belt and beyond, you're gonna be following the depots that we set on key orbits. So just like the highways lay out with gas stations so your cars can keep going, we'll be putting our depots further and further out as humanity progresses into our solar system. We've fundraised through VC investment, I believe it's 25 million and then we have about 25, 30 million of government funding that we've gotten through contracts. I never really saw myself as an entrepreneur, but my parents always told me, you're a born entrepreneur. And I was like, no, no, like that's it's so difficult, so hard, and then ended up, you know, finding my way into it. And, and now I absolutely love it and I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, just being able to like manifest your visions and, and bring them into reality and, and push the needle forward for everyone is, has been really great. I want my legacy to be, you know, helping others achieve what they want to do and, and spreading kindness. You know, I've got three rules that I live by, or three values I live by, really, and it's treat people the way you should be treated, bring more happiness into the world than you take out, and always do what's best for future you and the future of humanity. The idea is completely changing the way every country, company operates in space, because no one has ever had to refuel a satellite before. And so it's showing people that, you know, we can get over this hurdle. You know, yes, it's different, but the benefits that, you, that we're all gonna see by having this, reno, this energy source to move things around is, it's gonna magnify everything. And we're gonna unlock the potential that the space industry really can bring to people. Mm -hmm.